You got the biggest smile on your face, and you already know why. I'm, I'm not gonna say nothing. You tell them why you're smiling. Guys, I just went outdoors with the fastest wind condition ever, 1225. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and do you know that you are top five all time, like ever? Yes, I've been working on it. It's one of my main goals. <laughs> oh my goodness. She said this one in the books, girl. <laughs> now, I feel like your journey has been absolutely crazy because you were at Baylor. I know you got injured at some point. You ended up transferring to Arkansas and you've just been doing your thing. So can you talk to me a little bit about what that journey's been like for you and like what this what this win means to you? <sighs> when back in Baylor, I got her at regionals and I felt like everything was over because I tore my planet fest year. It was like 90%. Like I couldn't walk. I was out for like three months. But God was like, you need to move. This is not where you need to be right now. And I was like, God, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to trust in you. And I did trust in God and I made a transfer to Arkansas. And Arkansas took their time with me to work on me as a person, as an athlete. And them working on me has brought me this far. They have taught me how to be patient. They have taught me how to be consistent. And most importantly, they have taught me to be strong in my word. And me being strong in my word has shown so many miracles that God is possible in anything you do as long as you follow his words. Oh my goodness, girl, we're about to start preaching today. Hey, like, come on, we about to have Bible study. Um, but I just think this is absolutely amazing, mainly because I feel like you just set a crazy precedent. Like, I feel like all year, everybody's been waiting to see what the 100 meter hurdles is gonna be with the women. And as I was just saying to Aaliyah beforehand, when they think about the big three, they think about you, Messiah, and Aaliyah. And so I just wanna know what it feels like for you to, you know, be at the forefront of pretty much the women's collegiate hurdles. Well, to be honest, I didn't know it was possible, but <laughs> the fact that it is possible, it shows that we are very hardworking young ladies and each and every one of us has a story and that story has drive us to be among the greatest, but it's just who wants it the more the most and i guess i wanted the most today yes you did want it the most today and so we know that you're jamaican so talk to us a little bit about your trials like what you're planning and like how you're going to make sure that you get everything completed the most important thing for me this year is i've always said everyone in my race i just want to be healthy i just want yes. to be healthy and to be able to go to budapest is a really big dream for me but now this is over i gotta redial in i gotta be patient again i gotta redial my focus for trials and mm -hmm. then anything that happens happens yes and so i know you're saying anything that happens happens but if we could just take a moment to really think about the time that you ran like you could really place like you can be top three you can come home with a medal so what does it mean to you to you know like knowing that that dream is pretty much in your reach now it is in my reach but at the same time i can't get ahead of myself mm -hmm. i gotta remain patient within myself i gotta stay focused in god i can't die i can't go anywhere from that i just gotta stay what god has to me and then if I'm supposed to be on the podium, I would be on the podium. Oh, you better preach that, girl. <laughs> now, the last time I talked to you, you had rhinestones on. You told me you was going to wear them today. My roommate was busy. We were oh. trying to pack her suitcase to leave. And oh, I, my goodness. I take forever to get ready. So it's just like, <laughs> we were rushing. <laughs> no, it's okay. Well, congratulations. We know you're going to do your thing in the next couple months. And is there one thing that you want to say to your fans before I turn the camera off? Trust in God, y'all, and believe in y'all dream. No injuries can stop you. Love y'all. Yes.